who is the senior clergy member of the Department of Anthropology at New York University. And my the project I worked on was the study of primates and evolution through the use of bioinformatics. of molecular biology, um, which leads us to Python script. So Python script is a program that I used instead of, there are different programs that you can use in bioinformatics, such as Shell, but uh, most practically we use by, um, Python because it's easier to compare base pair the DNA. Okay, and intro So what we're doing basically is we're calculating their prox, to calculate their prox, approximately the primate evolutionary tree by observing and understanding the specific genes through um, bioinformatics. So we're basically making trees depending on the DNA that we find through something called the NCBI bank. The materials that we use for um, basic Acer netbooks, um, Python program, and DNA from the NYC bank. Um, you could, depending on what type of computer or model that you're using, um, when you're coding DNA or trying to make a tree, it will go faster if you're using Mac, but if you use your old network, so it, it worked well, but it took a little longer for you to see these trees. So the process that we took was that first we had to learn um, different commands um, in order to make these trees through Python. Um, we then, I, then, I then collected DNA from the NCBI bank. Um, the NCBI bank is basically an online database which contains DNA collected from different labs around the world. So um, what I did was, in, the type of DNA that I used was mitochondrial DNA. Um, and we were each assigned a different primate or group. So um, there, there are different categories of that, such as the new world monkeys, old world monkeys, or apes. So then we, took, we turned the DNA into an evolutionary group through process of, the process of coding, and we analyzed the data by understanding the, pop, um, by understanding the biology and the evolutionary process behind each tree. And I then compared, like we're comparing the evolutionary similarities amongst the primates. So this is just um, what it looks like on the computer when you're in terminal using um, Python, but this is shell. So I try to get a picture of it, but <laughs> so that's when you're coding DNA to get a basic understanding of what it looks like. Um, and this is what I've been talking about, which is the tree. Um, some trees can even um, span bigger, but this is just a smaller, this is actually a smaller version. And um, through Python, you could color code it. So, yeah. And um, what, I, what we do with these trees is that um, we get to we understand um, how far back they're dated um, and how these primates are related and um, to human humans. So, yeah. And I'm actually still working on my tree, so this is just an example of it. So my results and my um, future works is that um, we hope to find similarities amongst the primates. Um, learn the um, I want to continue learning the biology and um, evolutionary aspects behind the primates and why they're related. Um, mm -hmm. um, I want to continue using Python script to sequence more DNA, and lastly, the, the NYU anthropology staff members hope to generate statistics and evidence of a linkage between primates and humans, even though we already know that they're saying that we're over 99% similar to primates. But we want to understand why, and through that we can even find evolutionary diseases that primates have that have been that have been, um, to us. So these are just my references. Some of them. And my acknowledgement is Dr. Todd Sitel, um, Christina Birdie, my co-interns, um, Dr. Sat and HCS and staff.
Each of us were assigned different um, categories of these monkeys. So there's 